Hello, Happy New Year. Here's a new video for me about the alternative white point. There are so many questions which white point to use and why do we have to use it and uh, I can't explain it. I can't explain a real professional but I will do my best that you uh, could understand why you should use an alternative white point. <coughs> okay, here you can see he is measured in BenQ monitor, an LCD monitor, I think. It's uh, in REC 709. And these are the spectral lights. And they are uh, following the waves correctly. So when you're measuring a television, a bowlet television with a white uh, LED, you can see that the wavelength does not follow the, the correct spectral line. I, I, I can't talk better to you. So that's the reason S why you can't calibrate and television and volet television straight to D65. It depends on the inch size and on uh, and it depends to your probe so i will show you when you use which probe which inch size what you can do about it first of all when you don't have got a um, spectrometer like the ipro 3 or the yeti spectro maybe it's with a g i don't know think it's so you can use an FSI EDR where to get uh, install light space trial version <coughs> then you find this file and then paste it to your hidden Kalman folder in this directory then delete or rename the original OLED EDR from from Kalman, it's called OLED Family. Rename it or delete it, and rename the FSE from Lightspace and rename it to the OLED Family. Uh, Twenty July twelve dot EDR. So when you have done this and you use Kalman, you should select. OLED as your uh, device. Then it will use the WRGB OLED EDR spectral, spectral correction from Lightspace. When you have got a um, spectrometer, you don't need it because then you've got the profile matrix. matrix so when do you have to use an alternative Y point? For a 770 inch, 77 inch, you don't need an alternative Y point. I've got a 77 inch OLED. I've tried many alternative Y points. The first moment they look really good, but when I taste them for about two or three days, it's too greenish, it's too it's it's not really natural in all scenes. So when you got an seven seven inch, you don't need an alternative Y point, you can do D sixty five. When you've got a forty inch uh, volet television, maybe you don't need it too because a forty eight inch is cut from the same glass like the 77 inch but I can't verify it because I don't have got a 48 inch one com comment under my videos uh, someone said he tried an alternative white point but it was too greenish and so he, he went back to D65 so you have to try it to by yourself try D65 try alternative white point <coughs> and Take the one that fits better to your uh, eyes. 
So which white points do you have to use? If you got a spectrometer like the iPro 3, then you can profile your I1 Display Pro with a Bordner method and you can use this white point. Enice told us when you've got a Yeti spectrometer, which is really expensive and I think the not the most of you have got an, a Yeti Spectro, you have to use this white point. When you don't have got a spectrometer and you are using the FSI EDR, then use this alternative white point. Okay, uh, this year an 83 inch bullet will come from LG this year and I think Sony also. We have to look which white point we have to use in this case, but first of all, we are just at 77, and I hope this little video clarified some questions about the alternative white point and the FSI.EDR. Have a nice day. See you in the next video. Bye. And don't forget to ring the bell.